Hi, I am Ajay from Informatica Global Customer Support. I am going to discuss on troubleshooting mapping job issues in data quality. The agenda of this session is to identify and troubleshoot the mapping job performance issues and a quick insight into the profile or scorecard performance a debug scenario. A mapping job is executed in multiple phases uh, where each phase is handled uh, by different uh, components of the server like uh, metadata is fetched by client uh, from the MRS. Uh, DIS prepares the mapping and submits uh, the mapping for execution. Uh, and finally, monitoring MRS keeps track of the execution status. Mapping jobs are submitted for execution from different clients like a developer client, Infa CMD, CLI, uh, scheduler service, and workflow. DIS prepares the mapping for execution, uh, uh, which is called uh, LDTM phase and executed by PMDTM SV32 process in EDTM phase. DIS prepares the mapping for execution called LDTM phase and the mapping is executed by PMDTM SVC2 process in EDTM phase. Let's briefly see how the mapping execution happens. Firstly, when running a mapping from developer client, the metadata is fetched from repository and validates and sends it to the DIS for preparation and execution. In case of deployed mappings or mapping tasks from workflows that are run using Infra CMD or scheduler service or workflows, the mappings are already validated at the time of uh, deploying into the application or workflow and those are sent to DIS for preparation. Further, DIS compiles, optimizes and prepares the mapping for execution. Once the mapping is ready for execution, DIS spawns or uh, reuses an instance of uh, PMDTM SVC2 process and this process executes the mapping. DIS is responsible to update the status of uh, the mapping execution in monitoring MRS. Performance issue could occur in any of the above set phases of a mapping run and need to know what diagnostics to be collected at each phase. So the first phase of uh, mapping execution is a metadata fetch and validation. If the mapping is complex with many transformations, maplets and pipelines involved, if the mapping metadata has issues, it could lead to prolonged validation phase. In that case, how to identify this? After submitting the mapping from de developer client, if the following symptoms are seen, it is a probable case of validation slowness. The symptoms are like no entry of the mapping being run in the monitoring tab, no mapping log is generated in the Informatica server log location, client shows the mapping run in progress as seen in the snapshot here. At this point of time, it is suggested to collect JSTAC on the client process and if the JSTAC has a thread shown as here uh, highlighted in yellow, this stack indicates the validation of mapping is in progress and if this stack is seen consistently across multiple JSTACs captured on the client during the run, it indicates a mapping validation slowness. To further diagnose the issue, send the JSTACs collected on the client along with the mapping export MLN XML to the global customer support. If the stack is not seen and still the mapping is not submitted to DIS for execution, send the same diagnostics to GCS to identify the cause. Once the mapping is submitted to DIS by the client, DIS starts mapping preparation through various phases like compilation, simplification, optimization, which helps in running the mapping more efficiently and utilizing the resources effectively. It is possible that any of these 
preparation phases could lead to performance issue and we will see how to find if LDTM phase is causing the performance issues. In the snapshot of the log message here indicates the start of LDTM and at the end of this phase a message is logged specifying how much time it took to finish this phase. In between these two messages you could see a lot of log messages associated with the activities uh, like compilation, simplification, optimization uh, which DIS takes to finish this phase. If the LDTM phase takes very long time to finish, we need to further understand which subphase of LDTM took more time and what options available to overcome the issue and what diagnostics to collect. First phase of LDTM is to compile the mapping that includes parameter resolution and other tasks. If the mapping logs shows this phase takes more time to finish, rerun the mapping and collect multiple infinite dump heap, uh, with heap option on the DI service at regular intervals during the compilation phase until it completes. Along with this, send the mapping log, mapping export XML parameter file for troubleshooting. Next crucial phase of LGTM is to simplify the mapping and if the mapping log shows this phase takes more time to finish, we have a DIS property to disable this phase. It is suggested to apply the property specified here as a DIS custom property and read on the mapping. The property is now you are thinking with portals and the value of that to be set to false. If the issue still persists even after applying this custom property, rerun the mapping and collect multiple infinite dump heap on the DIS service at regular intervals during the compilation phase, oh sorry, simplification phase until it completes. Along with this, send the mapping log, mapping export, XML, parameter XML for troubleshooting. After simplification, the mapping undergo multiple optimization phases. For each optimization phase, a log message is printed indicating that optimization is applied on the mapping. If any of these phase is found to take long time, we can disable the associated optimizations by adding the DIS custom properties as shown in the snapshot here. Usually, the optimizer cause performance issues after upgrade to a latest release. Uh, to confirm that, suggested to disable the optimization and rerun the mapping. If that helps and to troubleshoot the optimizer issue after upgrade, enable optimizer and collect the diagnostics mentioned here. Basically, the diagnostics or the mapping log from both the versions. Uh, suggested to generate the runtime mapping dunk XMLs using the DIS custom property as mentioned here. And with this property, the runtime mapping dump XMLs are generated under DIS temp folder of Informatica server. Next one is a parallelism phase, also called partitioning phase, where the parallelism value set to greater than one uh, enables the partitioning which helps in creating multiple threads to process each stage of the mapping uh, execution in EDTM phase. If the mapping execution performance impacts negatively with the parallelism uh, set to a value greater than one, it is suggested to set it back to uh, the default value at the mapping or the DIS level and verify if it improves the performance. To troubleshoot the parallelism related issues, we need PM stack on PMDTM SVC to process when the mapping is under execution, the mapping log, and these two set of logs has to be collected with and without parallelism enabled, and lastly, mapping export XML is needed. 
At this point, LDTM phase is set to be finished and the final mapping is ready for execution in PMDTM SPC2 process, which is called EDTM phase. Let's see how to deal with the performance issues related to EDTM phase of mapping execution. EDTM phase, uh, the performance could affect due to reader, writer, or transformation threads. To troubleshoot at this level, we need to know how to identify the reader, writer, or transformation threads and how much time it takes to finish. Each of these uh, run on a separate thread and the thread name pattern helps us to identify, identify them. Pattern of reader thread is like task underscore uh, and the random number followed by reader and a suffix with uh, one underscore in x underscore one where x stands a uh, numerical value. If there are multiple readers or multiple sources involved in the mapping, uh, the, the, each each reader thread is associated with, uh, with a source in the mapping and the X indicates whether it's the first reader or the second reader in the mapping. Similarly, the write and transformation thread patterns are shown here. To identify the reader slowness, filter out all the reader thread based on the pattern mentioned earlier. If the time difference between the reader start and complete is huge, then it indicates the performance issue is with the reader fetching records from the source. In such case, if the source is relational, verify if the DB is responding quickly. This could be verified by running the query shown in the reader thread from the from an external client. Uh, preferably the client on uh, one of the clients on Informatica server and see how much time it takes. If the time it takes is same as that of uh, seen in the mapping log, then it is a DB issue. Otherwise, uh, if the results are fetched quickly from the external client, then we need to collect the following diagnostics. In case if the source is a flat file and the reader is, is slow, then it could indicate a disk I.O. issue and uh, you need to consult the system admin to verify and tune I.O. performance on the server. If the reader is not a suspect, then verify transformation threads. The start of input and end of input of a uh, transformation mes messages indicates uh, the time it takes for the upstream transformation to complete sending the data to this transformation. If there is a delay in between these two messages, then the upstream transformation messages need to be reviewed. If the time took between end of input and end of output transformation is the time spent by the transformation in processing the data. If this is delayed, the issue is related to this transformation. Usually in case of uh, joiner, aggregator, sorter, or lookup, uh, which are uh, enabled with caches, usually use, uh, I mean, if enabled with caches, uses disk to persist cache data. And these transformations are likely uh, to take time while dealing with these caches. So it is suggested to configure the crash size and verify if that helps to improve the performance. Also worth verifying if the disk I.O. usage is high when these transformations are under execution and verify uh, if it is, if it is uh, high, it, uh, it, it is suggested to involve system admin to tune the disk I.O. If the issue still persists even after reviewing the set scenarios, collect the diagnostics mentioned here. In EDTM phase, lastly, uh, 
to identify the writer slowness issue, filter out all the writer threads, and you can see a pattern of uh, messages like this. When the delay is noticed between the writer run started and completed messages, the first thing to confirm is whether the upstream transformations has finished well. And if so, then to suspect the writer transformation. If the writer is found to be slow performing and if the target is relational, verify if the DB is able to write quickly, uh, could take help of, uh, can take help of DBA here. If the DB performance is ruled out, then we need to collect the diagnostics mentioned here. Once the writer run finishes, the EDTM deinitializes after logging the following messages. And at this point, DIS service gets a status update from the uh, PMDTM SVC2 process, which is updated back to the monitoring MRS by the DIS. If the mapping log on server shows the mapping is successfully completed, but the status of the mapping in the monitoring still shows running, then collect JSTACs on DIS uh, monitoring MRS to verify why the status of the mapping is uh, not updated in the monitoring MRS. These are the various scenarios uh, where a performance uh, could uh, degrade and as mentioned the associated diagnostics need to be collected to troubleshoot the respective phase. Coming to profiles, uh, to give a brief uh, about profile or scorecard executions, each profile or uh, scorecard gets converted into one or more mappings uh, which are further submitted for execution on DIS. These mappings are expected to run concurrently. Uh, by default, uh, five mapping tasks uh, associated with the profile can run concurrently. If any one of the profile or scorecard mapping is found to take more time to finish, the troubleshooting tips discussed so far could be applied to find the problematic phase. Apart from this, there is another possibility of uh, profile or scorecard execution performance getting affected and let's see what I mean here. When a profile or scorecard is run, a summary log is generated uh, with the details of all the mappings that the profile or scorecard creates. As mentioned earlier, at least five mappings run in parallel and that's what the snapshot uh, indicates here. All the mappings with suffix 2 to 6 are all started at the same time, which indicates five mappings of the profile are, run in, are running in concurrent. Whenever a profile execution is taking longer than usual, it is worth verifying the profile summary log to see if there is a pattern as shown in the next slide. You see the pattern here, the mappings are running in sequential order instead of concurrently running. This is a known issue in 10 x when the profiles or the scorecard source is on a logical data object, LDO. Solution to this is to set the DIS custom property as mentioned here, advanced profile service options dot custom flag or equals to one. Usually such issues are noticed uh, after upgrade and to troubleshoot this scenario, collect profile logs, DIS service log and profile export and send it to global customer support. Okay, uh, so far I have shared the tips for identifying the performance issues in mapping run at different phases and how to deal with them using known solutions or different diagnostics to collect. You can also refer to the knowledge base portal of Informatica to find if a tuning option is available. If no solution or workaround is available, it is suggested to collect diagnostic as uh, suggested in different phases and share with global customer support. We welcome your feedback through support videos at informatica.com or twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you.